Mr. India uh, was definitely like you know one of those iconic uh, you know iconic films and uh, to do a scene with him um, 22 years into my career uh, was a gift of patience and a gift of resilience and it was fitting that it was him because he has shown us how to survive decade after decade in an industry by constantly reinventing himself and I really admire that. It's not that he looks young, it's because he is young. Hi, I'm Tarotma Shom and you can catch me on midday.com. She was the big surprise on season one and we can't wait to see what she has to offer on season two of The Night Manager. That's Tilotama Shom. Thank you so much. And like I said, you were the big surprise and your role left such an impact. But we didn't really know that you were part of the series till the last minute. So was that like a plan that you all had, you know, just to give a surprise to the audience? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I hope it was a good surprise. Of I don't know if that's what uh, was planned. But uh, I am really overwhelmed and really touched by the kind of uh, reaction and love that Lipika's character got um, you know and uh, it's very very encouraging and uh, playing a raw agent so what was your uh, the brief that you had and how did you make the character your own well I was told that in the original Olivia Coleman plays it as you know quite straightforward and uh, and so I didn't see the original because I'm a huge Olivia Colman fan and I thought if I see it I won't be able to unsee it you know and I felt that no matter what the similarities might be given it's an adaptation uh, the makers have to adapt it for India and a raw agent in India is going to have a very different life from a raw agent yeah. elsewhere right so I actually decided that I will I'll just follow the script and uh, it was important for me to create uh, with my directors and I sat a lot with Priyanka and uh, what would be her walk, what would be her idiosyncrasies, you know. She's in a really male dominated world, you know, like all of us, yeah. like, you know, I mean, uh, like you, you know, like a professional in a male dominated world. Uh, she has understood how to navigate it. Uh, and by using subterfuge, manipulation, humor, yeah. uh, you know, she is really stubborn and I think it's a great way to, uh, the way she subverts uh, the system, you know, she understands the system, she knows how to play it, she knows how to stroke the ego of her male bosses, yeah. you know, and just yeah. the right way without being, uh, licking anyone's uh, uh, you know, yeah. uh, you know what I mean, yeah. right? She does it with, I love that about her, that she understands the mechanics of the game and she knows it's a boys club and uh, she knows what the boys want to hear in order for her to get her work done. Yeah. And, uh, and I, what was incredible for me was building the relationship between uh, uh, Sarang uh, you know, uh, Lipika's, uh, you know, assistant and her partner in crime, uh, the way Anand, uh, the actor, was so wonderful, the way we were able to create the idiosyncrasies of her character, their relationship, how he knows what she's thinking even before she has articulated it. And uh, that, that was really, really fun. And, uh, and then, of course, her you know, her relationship with uh, Shan and Shelley um, was, uh, was the icing on the cake, you know. And we were speaking to the director Sandeep Modi and he said he was most excited for your confrontation scene with Shelley, yes. which is Anil Kapoor. Yes. And yes. looking forward to that as well. Yes, but, yeah. it was uh, quite a pinch me moment. Uh, uh, even though I have not grown up on a fair of Indian cinema and uh, you know because we largely read books and mm. not watched movies but Mr. India uh, was definitely like you know one of those iconic uh, you know iconic films and uh, to do a scene with him um, 22 years into my career uh, was a gift of patience and a gift of resilience and it was fitting that it was him because he has shown us how to survive decade after decade in an industry by constantly reinventing himself and I really admire that. It's not that he looks young, 
it's because he is young. He has worked really hard to keep himself young by being curious about his co-actors, about processes, about the team. Uh, you know, I, I know uh, how he spoke about a young DOP called Shreya that he'd worked with on another project. So I can see in his mind that he wants to collaborate with, uh, you know, with younger people, not just the known names and, you know. So this, this quality in him is uh, quite admirable and to have a face off with uh, someone with that, of that vintage and, uh, and yet someone who's so relevant was and like you said, it's been 22 years and we're seeing so much of you now, which we're glad about. And uh, so is this like the most exciting phase of your career because there's exposure is so much, audience is actually seeing yes. you know, all the great work that you have to offer. I, I wouldn't say it's the most exciting. Uh, I, I've had many, many such exciting moments. I think, um, you know, my debut film was Monsoon Wedding. I've done many wonderful films, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, they may not have had, uh, OTT didn't exist when I started my career. My first film was shot on 35mm and little did I know that the world would go digital after that, you yeah. know. So, uh, I, I think they were all very exciting. Uh, projects that I did, worked with very exciting actors, collaborated with really exciting uh, directors. Um, what is happening right now is a result of all those opportunities. All those opportunities were like, um, were like beautiful grains, like a jigsaw puzzle, you know. Uh, it gave me muscle. Uh, it gave me the strength, it strengthened my spine to be able to stand in this industry. To, uh, to be able to continue standing in this industry. And I think this, uh, this uh, amazing, uh, you know, there's so much work, it's very new for me in the last two years and I really think uh, I owe it a lot to all the directors who gave me a chance when uh, not too many people were willing to. Uh, you know, it wasn't fashionable to give, uh, yeah. cast me, they put their, um, they put their money on me when no one else was willing to uh, and I really, really thank them for that. It's because of them uh, that, uh, you know, I I'm here today. So, uh, more than exciting, I feel, uh, I feel very grateful. Yeah, and we're glad they did. But uh, like you said, you know, you had a lot of patience, which is not a quality, I guess, many actors have because, you know, you want that kind of reception, the kind of fame. So, what really kept you going even during those tough moments? Uh, you know, I, I started practicing Buddhism uh, at the age of 17 and uh, I was very, very inspired by my mentor Daisaku Ikeda's life, um, who was a young man in post-World War II Japan when everything was in the ruins. And for me, his life was, you know, a very ordinary human being accomplishing uh, extraordinary, making extraordinary efforts in human diplomacy as an ordinary human being and that for me was a very inspiring role model that allowed me to continue um, uh, in, in these 20 years and not give up on myself even if others had, you know. So and, yeah, and my family, uh, they're, they're wonderfully supportive, my partner, uh, my friends, you know, to have that kind of support uh, in your personal life uh, is a huge, huge gift. And of course, when you aren't shooting, what do you enjoy doing? Uh, when I'm not shooting, uh, I spend, I, I, I make sure I spend a lot of time with my family. Uh, it's something that uh, I think the pandemic made us re realize what our priorities are. And, uh, and that time uh, is, is the most precious commodity. Uh, and, and that it's finite. You don't have all the time in the world. Uh, you know, so uh, my time off is really for self, uh, uh, you know, s replenishing myself, uh, watching films, reading books that I haven't read, my long list of things to do, my gardening, my embroidery, uh, traveling, meeting and spending time with my family, uh, uh, taking care of all your ghar ka kaam, which, you know, is pending. Uh, uh, so, yeah, and I really like that. I like, uh, I like being able to uh, work and then take time off to re-look at myself and have time to, you know, replenish. Because otherwise, I, th I, I, I think while it's, 
uh, may feel very nice to be busy. Uh, if you're too busy, uh, uh, then I don't think uh, it's possible for me to sustain uh, a quality of life where there's a balance and, uh, and, and each character requires a certain kind of, uh, you, you can wing it, uh, you know, once, but I don't think, I don't want to wing it, you know, something I love doing. Uh, it's really something I love and I'd like to give it the time and excitement it deserves, every project, as opposed to being exhausted, you know, uh, and going on an autopilot. And that's so wonderful actually because you know, especially as an actor, when you're getting so much work right now, I'm sure it's difficult, you know, to take that time off as well. But that if you're consciously doing that, that's, I mean, that's wonderful. It, it's not really difficult because, uh, you know, ever, ever since my mother got diagnosed uh, of cancer um, uh, or losing, uh, you know, Irfan uh, to cancer one, uh, one really realized that time is, uh, um, time with your loved ones is something that I can't do it when I'm, uh, and I can't wait for it. it. It may never come to me if I don't make the time for it now. And, uh, and that, that was a game changer. Uh, so it's not difficult at all. It's something I absolutely want. And uh, many people may make you feel that having a balanced life means you're not very ambitious and you're not very professional. I disagree with that. I am absolutely ambitious and I am professional. And it's because I am professional, because I love my job, it's very important for me that I have a happy, uh, you know, uh, I have, you know, I take care of my mental health. I have a balanced life that I can spend time and give time to my family. It's because I love my job so much that I want to make sure I can do it in a healthy way. And I'm not going to make anyone make me feel otherwise. That uh, me saying no to work is because I, you know, I'm, you know, people have said strange things about actresses, right? Oh, she's married, so she won't do as much work. Or, oh, she's more concerned about, you know, I, I, I think we can each stand up for ourselves and define what is professional and uh, as long as uh, we are clear about the why, Absolutely. you know, and the how. Yeah. That's a wonderful attitude to have for sure. Thank and you. of course, the Night Manager too is something we are looking forward to. But if you'd like to speak about your other projects as well. Well, I mean, in Night Manager, for instance, Lipika is someone who is, you know, straddling her work and yeah. her personal life. You know, she has a wonderful supportive husband uh, who is uh, very, very happy. Um, to support his wife without, uh, without complaints and allows her to really shine and respects her for what she does. She's pregnant, but she's putting her life, she go goes into an area which is very challenging and, you know, is a, is a consummate professional in many ways. And, uh, and so it's, it's nice to play women with uh, different kinds of bodies, with different kinds of desires and, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I'm very, uh, I felt really great to be in my 40s and play a character that is actually age appropriate and is a kind and a woman who I may not have her life because I'm not a mother uh, but I, I related to the the hustle that a woman has to go through um, in a very male dominated world there is last stories and there's uh, you know a couple of shows um, uh, that are coming out that I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about or not am I <laughs> am I, I but there are three four or five other things that are that are coming out and uh, um, hopefully you'll see me more often than earlier. And, for sure. And for thank sure. you so much. For Looking forward to all that. Thank, thank you. you so much for thank doing you. this. Thank, thank you. you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.